हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज मुनम फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स एंड वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अवर चैनल ऑफ डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स वेर वी डिस्कस वर्ल्ड प्रेस एंड वो कॉमर्स सोल्यूशन दैट कैन हेल्प यू ग्रो योर ऑनलाइन बिजनेस विच विल अल्टीमेटली असिस्ट यू टू प्रोवाइड अ टॉप नॉच यूजर एक्सपीरियंस एंड कस्टमर सेटिस्फैक्शन हैंस स्टे ट्यून विद अवर चैनल टू कीप गेटिंग बैक टू बैक प्रोडक्ट टूटोरियल्स एंड इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स We are on the WordPress dashboard and we are back with another feature series in which we are going to discuss the new features which have been added in the wallet system for WooCommerce plugin. So if you are looking to watch the complete setup video for free and pro plugin, so we have mentioned the link in the description content so you can watch it from there. So let's discuss the newly added feature in this plugin. So let's hover on WP Swings and click on wallet system. so we are going to start with the general settings tab so here the very first uh, field is uh, restrict wallet recharge for particular gateway so if the admin wants to restrict any particular gateway which he don't want to provide for the wallet recharge for the customers on the checkout page so from here we have provided this option to easily restrict wallet recharge for particular gateway like let's suppose i have restricted check payments and cash on delivery will not be available for the wallet recharge for the customers I will select these two options and let me click on save settings. And let me go to shop page and click on my account and here let me click on wallet and here let me click on add balance. Let's and let's enter the random amount and proceed. And let me proceed to checkout. So the option of COD and check payments is not coming because from the back end we have restricted these two gateways. for the wallet recharge that will not be available for the customers so this is how this functionality works next functionality is auto complete uh, wallet recharge order status like if the admin wants to auto complete the wallet recharge on the order status and here he can select the wallet recharge uh, that will be processed on particular order status like i have selected on hold processing and completed so let me suppose let me select only on hold so if the order status is on hold then also the wallet recharge will be done so let me click on save settings and let me go to this and let me add balance so the order has been received so let us click on my account and let us click on wallet and let us view transactions so here as you can see that since the order was on hold then also the wallet recharge has been done because from the back end we have enabled this functionality of auto complete and we have selected the order status to process the wallet recharge that we have selected that is on hold so this is how this functionality works next field is enable wallet negative balance what does this mean so we have provided this functionality to allow the functionality of negative balance to provide to the customers that means the customers can also use the uh, negative balance for the wallet to buy the products that means like if this functionality is enabled and here the admin can decide the uh, limit for wallet negative uh, balance like that means they can pay later that amount whatever the negative balance is there like i have selected the limit as 200 limit order number for wallet negative balance use that means the admin can easily set the number of order limit after which the negative balance functionality will be available for the customers like let's suppose i have entered 1 so once the customer has placed the order then whenever he will be placing the next order so then then the negative balance feature will be available next if the admin wants to charge the interest for the negative balance recharge so from here he can enable this and here he can add the name that will be shown on the checkout page for the interest of wallet negative balance like i have written interest wallet for negative balance and the admin can select the interest type from here like i have decided fixed and i have decided the amount as 10 next uh, let me click on safe settings now let me again go back to the shop page and now let me place the order again and let me view cart now as you can see that the option of wallet payment is coming here and here as you can see that we can here the option is coming as you can pay, use pay later balance up to dollar 200 so this is because from the back end we have decided like the maximum amount for negative balance is 200 and our amount is 1 uh, 1009 but 
as you can see that in the my account when we will check the uh, like wallet amount so it is around 902 as you can see that here this is 902 dollars so let us use this uh, let us use this functionality and here let me click on place order now what will happen like uh, the wallet amount will go into the negative then also the order has been received so let me go to my account and here let me refresh this so here uh, the our balance is like dollar 107 so when i will click on add balance and let me click on like uh, 200 so here it shows the balances minus dollar 107.80 so let us recharge for 300 dollars and let me click on proceed and here as you can see that here the text is coming as interest wallet for negative balance is dollar 10 because from the back end we have decided dollar 10 and here the total is of uh, like dollar 340 because of this tax also so let me click on proceed to check out and let me uh, place the order and now when i will go to my account and let me click on wallet so now it shows the balance as dollar 192 because the negative balance has been deducted from this so this is how negative balance functionality works and how the admin can easily apply or uh, enable the interest for the customers whenever uh, they avail the negative balance functionality so this is how this functionality works Next is if the admin wants to auto complete the wallet payment order status so from here you can enable this functionality so what will happen like uh, whenever the order is uh, whenever any product is paid by the wallet gateway so the order will be automatically completed. Next is send email on wallet amount update to customer so from here the admin can enable this functionality to send the email to the user and here he can enter the email for the wallet amount update uh, that will be sent to the customers so here you can uh, enter the email id to send email to the customers like i have written like this so what we have uh, done like we have upgraded the temp uh, we have upgraded the templates and when i will go to woocommerce and let me click on settings and here let me go to emails so we have also added like uh, templates for like this uh, wallet credit email notification wallet cashback and wallet debited so let me show you how this will reflect so this is how uh, this will look like uh, we have upgraded this template like wallet has been credited and this is how the message will be coming and the customer name and the credited amount will be shown here and the total balance will be shown here like whenever the wallet will be credited or cashback is credited so this is how the customers will be receiving this email template let us again go back to the backend settings and so this was all about the new features which uh, which were included in the general settings tab now let us proceed to wallet tab so we are on the wallet tab and here uh, let's discuss what are the new features that have been added so when i will click on restrict user so we have also added these restriction like restrict referral restrict qr code and restrict wallet gateway so uh, with these functionalities like if i will enable this and if i want to restrict for any particular user i will disable this functionality and if i want to apply for all user so if i will enable this so all these restrictions will be applicable to all the users but if i want to restrict for the like i am the admin so i want to restrict referral qr code and wallet gateway so for now like uh, like you can see that uh, wallet referral is available like uh, uh, let me click on this so here uh, the admin uh, here the admin can easily here the customers can easily copy this uh, like referral and he can he can uh, he can refer to the friends and he can uh, get the us one dollar for by referring a friend but if i want to restrict like uh, restrict this functionality and qr code functionality and i also want to restrict wallet gateway uh, for the payment so if the admin wants to restrict these functionalities of referral qr code and wallet gateway for some of the particular users and not for all so simply he can uh, he, simply he can enable this functionality and disable this apply for all user and let us click on restrict wallet now when i will refresh this so all these uh, functionalities are uh, all these functionalities have disappeared like uh, refer a friend qr code and uh, let me click on like shop page so wallet gateway uh, will also not be available for me as i have restricted for the admin
so here as you can see that uh, the wallet gateway is not available because from the back end we have uh, enabled this uh, restriction so let me disable these restrictions and now let me refresh this now the wallet payment gateway is available so this is how the admin can easily make restrictions uh, that have been added in this like for the QR code gateway and referral so from here you can easily do it and we have also provided various restrictions that were top up related to transfer withdrawal request and restriction message that were, that will be shown to the users so from here the restrictions can be applied so this was all about the new features that have been added in this wallet tab and now let us move to next tab that is wallet transactions so from here we have also provided the functionality by which the admin can easily delete the user transactions from here like he can click on this so the user transactions will be deleted so let's suppose let me delete this so as you can see that the transaction has been deleted so this is how we have also added this functionality of deleting the transactions so this was all about the uh, delete user transaction now let us move to wallet promotions so we are on the wallet promotions tab so we have provided this functionality in case if the admin wants to promote their wallet so from here he can easily enable this functionality and if he wants to show like any offers and if you want to show the offer timer so from here he can enable this and here he can decide the wallet promotion title and content like like i have uh, written the title as wallet offer and i have written the content as recharge your wallet wallet recharge your wallet to grab offers and if the admin wants to add more so from here he can click on this so let me click on save settings and let me go to my account so as you can see that the timer is coming here and the wallet offer uh, which we have chosen as a title and the content that we have decided is coming here so this is how you can design your uh, like design or add your promotions title and add your content to promote your wallet in case if you want to promote your wallet as a payment gateway for your customers so from here you can easily decide the promotion title and content from here so that will be reflected on the my account in the wallet tab so this was all about the wallet promotions now let us move to wallet quick recharge so here if you want to provide a quick recharge functionality for your customers so from here you can do this and let me decide the amount so i have decided like this so i have decided these wallet amount as a quick recharge so let me click on save settings and now let me go here so here as you can see that this is the quick recharge that are available here along with the uh, designated amount that we have selected so as soon as the customer will click on this so automatically it will be redirected to the cart where he can proceed to check out for the payment let us again go back so this was all about the quick recharge and wallet promotions so here we have provided this functionality by which the admin can easily provide restrictions uh, for like wallet recharge and wallet transfer and wallet withdrawal that means he can set the restriction like uh, when i will enable this functionality so here i can decide what will be the minimum and maximum amount for the wallet recharge like i have decided 100 and here let me decide uh, the maximum wallet uh, recharge can be done as uh, like 500 so let me click on save settings so let me go to my account and here let me click on wallet and here let me decide like 600 so when i will click on proceed so as you can see that the disclaimer has come recharge amount should be less than or equal to 500 and let's suppose i have decided 10 so then also disclaimer is coming as recharge amount should be greater than or equal to 100 so this is because we have set the restriction for wallet recharge like this so same restrictions can be done for wallet transfer and wallet withdrawal as per the business requirements of the admin so this was all about how the admin can easily set the restriction for recharge transfer and withdrawal now let us move to withdrawal settings so here we have also provided uh, the functionality by which the admin uh, can enable this wallet withdrawal through paypal that means the customer can easily enter the paypal id and as soon as the customer has approved the withdrawal uh, request so directly the amount will be transferred to the uh, customer's paypal so that means uh, the admin uh, admin do not have to manually send the amount uh, via bank transfer 
but if the admin wants to send through the paypal so from here you can enable this and next if the admin wants to show the drop down to customer for manual withdrawal or paypal withdrawal so from here the, this functionality can be enabled so the admin needs to enter the paypal client id and secret id and here you can select the payment uh, paypal mode so for now we are we have selected test mode so let me click on save settings and let me go to my account and let me request for uh, wallet withdrawal so let me select the amount 30 37 dollar and here let me select uh, paypal and here let me enter the mail id and here let me enter the note and here let me click on request for withdrawal so the request has been done so the request has been uh, done and the status is showing as pending so from the back end uh, let me click on this and here let me approve this so the as soon as the admin click on approved so the amount will be transferred to the paypal account of the customer so let me here refresh this so here uh, as you can see that wallet withdrawal request has been approved and the amount has been transferred to the paypal account so let me show you the transactions of the paypal so as you can see that this is the 37 dollars that have been received in the paypal account instantly so this is how this functionality of uh, wallet withdrawal via paypal works so now let us click on wallet actions so here we have also provided this functionality to customize the wallet rechargeable product so from here the admin can click on this and here you can uh, edit the name of the wallet product like let, here it is written rechargeable wallet product so if i want to only give the name as wallet product and if i want to update like a regular if i want to change the regular price or if i want to add the images or uh, make if i want to like add the images tag so from here i can do it so once the changes have been done by the admin so he can click on update so let me click on view product so now it is coming as wallet product so this is how uh, the admin can easily customize the wallet rechargeable product from here as per his requirements next is uh, referral so we have also provided the functionality by which the customers can earn the uh, earn uh, like earn the amount that will be transferred in the wallet with the help of referral so from here the admin can enable this and here the admin can decide the referral amount and here you can decide the referral description that will be, that will be reflected to the customers like i have decided uh, you will get dollar hundred uh, when you will uh, to refer a friend so let me click on save settings and let me go to my account and here the option will be coming off refer a friend so once let me refresh this and now let me click on this so here the disclaimer is coming as you will get a usd 100 amount to refer a friend so from here the customer can easily copy this and refer to the friends and they can easily earn the amount that means uh, this functionality will greatly help the admin in order to grab more customers and increase their engagement on your on the store let us again go back so this was all about the new features that were added in the wallet system for woocommerce pro plugin the links to the product have been mentioned in the video's description you can check and get all the details if you are facing any queries regarding the plugin functionality so you can mention your queries in the comment section and if you are new to our channel make sure to subscribe to our channel like the video and press the bell notification icon to get all the latest update related to our channel until the next video stay connected with us thank you